is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis, I'm going. What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about Jason Tatum and my Celtics. I've been watching a lot of their games, especially whenever I have free time, because as you guys know, I am a Boston Celtics fan. But one thing I have seen is Jason Tatum take his game to another level. I know that we've been going through a lot of injuries. We have a lot of talent. We've eaten a lot of mouths. But the, the Celtics has had a consistent a consistent streak this year where injuries have come into place. Guys have to step up. Guys have to um, play harder. They, they have to start like Marcus Smart sometimes start. And it does get to the point where they're going to have to pick and choose who they're going to keep. And it looks like they're going to either have to let go of Jason Tatum. They're going to let go of Jalen Brown or Gordon Hayward. I, I don't see this Boston Celtics team being a championship team just yet. And them giving Kimball Walker the money that they gave him, they're going to eventually have to make a trade to fill needs on this team and weaknesses on this team. But not only that, they only can really keep so many of these guys as Jason Tatum is going to be up for a contract extension. Jalen Brown just signed his contract contract extension, and we just signed Kimball Walker, and Gordon Hayward is getting paid a max um, for a guy that left a team that could have given five years. He ended up getting four with the Celtics, and it's just not realistic keeping this team together the way it's currently built. And don't forget, we already paid Marcus Smart his money. So eventually, we're going to have to let one of those three go. We have a team that has wings that's ready to take up some spots. I think that's one thing that's great about the Celtics is the fact that we, we can draft these type of wings at any any draft. But when you look at Jason Tatum, he's shooting 44% from the field on 18 shots per game, 38% from three. He's averaging a career-high 22 points per game um, this season. His efficiency is overall down from last year, but – He's a lot more confident. Um, they're relying on him a lot more to make plays. They're allowing him to make mistakes. They're allowing him to take over games. When you look at February so far, he's shooting 47% from the field, 53% from three, 80% from the free throw line, six rebounds, four assists, one steal, one block, and 28 points per game, which is spectacular. But even in his January, he gave you 21 points. Even in December, he averaged 22 points on decent efficiency, and he's been giving you over 20 points per game this entire season. And that's the type of Jason Tatum that we want to see at the end of the day, just because we want him to become that superstar player and we want him to become that franchise cornerstone. And the best way to do it is put him in position to do these things and continue to put the practice and then the work in, and then eventually just become a part of you. And I feel like... When you look at Jason Tatum, you have to you you see the length, you see the size, you see the the upside in him. It's just about getting it out of him and doing it the right way, so that way he can develop as he continue to get older. And I feel like they really rely so much on Tatum to create, and his efficiency went down in that regard just because he had to do more and he had to rely on other moves. But at the same time, you got to think about it. That's how you become the guy that they need you to become. And even though I love Gordon Hayward, I was super happy when we signed him. But um, the injury really, you know, brought him back down to earth. He was an all-star in the Western Conference, which is tough to do. And he hasn't been able to do that so far in the Eastern Conference. But Gordon Hayward has still been productive. He still is a great ball handler. He still is a great playmaker. He's a guy that can create his own shots still. He's a guy that can knock down threes on and off the ball and off the dribble. So he's a very skilled, fundamentally sound player. And he's a good rebounder and passer for his position. But like I said, eventually we're going to have to pick somebody to, to go. 
it's it just not realistic to have the team going the way it is and, you know, have this talent together. And I think Hayward is going to have to be the guy that we, we lose just because, you know, he's older. Uh, he doesn't have the upside anymore. And he's a guy that can possibly still get good money from another team and get a starting position and probably have a bigger role because we're starting to see the old Gordon Hayward now. And that Gordon Hayward is what teams are willing to invest in. And we know today game is about wings. Can you, do you have guys that can do the things that Brown, Tatum, and you know Gordon Hayward can do? And the answer is the Celtics have a, a couple of them. And why not flip one of these pieces into a big? Why not flip them into a great defender in the paint and a great rebounder and somebody that can really cover a lot of space and give us that rim protection that we don't have anymore since we lost Al Horford. And even when we had Al Horford, I still thought that we needed a better rim protector, even though he was great for his size and his position and his height. But you know, I'm, I'm proud of Jason Tatum. I never was the biggest Jason Tatum fan, but I also wasn't a big Jason Tatum hater. I feel like he, he has got a lot of pressure. I feel like the people really feel, you know, he can be something special and they hold him to that high standard. And he's just now starting to deliver um, this year, having the all-star season, which he is now. But I still haven't seen him take that superstar leap that people thought he would have did by now. And that's why people look at Jason Tatum as a little bit of a disappointment because people feel like he should have been an all-star. People feel like he can really be a top 10 player in this league. And that is a definition of a franchise, a franchise player. But just imagine keeping Kimba, having Brown, having Tatum and no Hayward. And then you're, you're filling that spot with a guy that doesn't need the ball as much as those three do. And then you're putting in the ball in the hand of those three more often, allowing them to be the guys that they are now. And the best part about them, they all play well on and off the ball and they all can, you know, knock down threes and create shots and create shots for themselves and their teammates. So it's already impossible to stop. That's why the Celtics have been so great this year is because we have so many guys that can attack. We have so many guys that's great on when they get the first step, when they can beat their man off the dribble and they can get to the mid range, they can get to the paint, they can get to the free throw line and they can shoot. And that just make them a tough cover. So nobody really been able to figure out the Celtics. Nobody been able to figure out how to slow them down or stop them and show you how great of a coach Brad Stevens is formulating a, a system that benefits all his, his players and find a way to utilize them and get them, you know, to play together well, even though they do have um, problems sometimes offensively and defensively because we know Kimba is not a great defender neither is guys like Ennis Cantor but he has somehow found a way to have a great defense even though you know some of the players ain't the best players defensively and Brass even has been fantastic he has been fantastic for years and he he works well with these teams but I was just making this video to show love to Tatum I'm proud of that he is an all-star. He's a deserving all-star. His defense has gotten significantly better, even though he was never really a terrible defender, even as a rookie. His offense, his efficiency is down, but I think that this is something that's going to be a growing pain for him. But I think it also will help him in the future, learning what shots work, what moves work, and what you can do on certain teams, on certain players. It just comes with experience, and then you just – Go out there and unlock it. And once you do that, it just become comfortable and just become part of your muscle memory. And I like the fact that Jason Tatum continued to be a great shooter. When he came into the league, people questioned his three-point shot. And he has been a good to great to average three-point shooter since coming in the league as a rookie. So I think that, you know, he's, he's living up to the height. He's a little behind with everybody else expect from him. But other than that, I feel like he has been what we have thought, if not a little bit better. And to be fair, he still is very young. He still is developing. His role will continue to change. Same with Jalen Brown, same with Gordon Hayward, even Marcus Smart. Um, their roles continue to change. And what the team needs them to do, they have been able to do those things. But the Celtics has been a very consistent team. And they have been a team that really fits well and gets the best out of each other. Now, it's about taking that next step, taking that next step, 
to become a championship team. And that's why I think we need one more trade to smooth out the weaknesses, to smooth out the problems and try to compete for a title these next two to three years. The Kyrie experiment didn't work. The Gordon Hayward experience wasn't our fault. We signed him, gave him opportunity, and it was just a tragic, tragic, unlucky, you know, contract for Gordon Hayward as it's already almost up already. And, you know, even though I would love to have Gordon Hayward back, I think his best interest would be, you know, to, to go to a different team if we can't trade him. I can definitely see him leaving as we got to pay Tatum. So if we had, we, we eventually got to figure out what can we do to make this team to that championship level. Even though they're in the East, I don't look at my Celtics as a team that can win a championship legitimately in the Eastern Conference if everybody's healthy. And, you know, I think a lot of Celtics fans would admit that and a lot of Celtics fans probably would agree with that. The only problem is how do we get to that next level? The Kyrie and Hayward experience didn't work. The Al Horford experience got us close, but we still failed. Now how can we build a team around Kimba, Brown, and Tatum and turn them into a legitimate championship contender that can beat the Sixers, that can beat the Heat, that can beat the Bucks, and really take over the Eastern Conference as a lot of these guys are not even 25 years old. And like I said, they're already one of the most unstoppable teams, and they have figured out a way to mask their weaknesses defensively and play well defensively. So I really want to know how far we can go this year. I really want to know how we end this season, how we end in the playoffs. I think all those things are important. Now it's just about seeing it through. And, you know, that's going to open up and, and let us know what we need. And it's going to let us know how far we are from a championship caliber team. And that's what we have to wait and see this season. But other than that, I'm proud of the Celtics. I'm proud of the players. I'm proud of the guys that we have. And I think that we are a great team. And I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the season in the playoffs for us. I went to the playoffs game last year when the Celtics played the Bucks, And I went the other year and they was impressive but they still it was missing something and we still don't know what that something is at this point but we know that we don't have enough just yet but we have some time and with Kimba Brown and Tatum on long-term deals because Tatum is on a rookie contract and it can match any offer anyway we got time to figure out we have time to figure it out and hopefully we can win the title again we haven't won since 08 and since then, we haven't won in years, at like 20-some years. So we haven't been the luckiest team. We haven't been a championship championship team, even though we did go to two finals in 08 and 2010. We only won one title in the last 30, 40 years, I think, something like that, which isn't, you know, the standard of excellence that the Celtics is held to. And that's why I'm still looking at this team saying we don't have enough, but it will be good to see us achieve that goal of becoming champions again with this nucleus that we have now. And that's why we put them together. But let me know what you guys think. Is I'm underrating the Celtics, I'm overrating the Celtics, I'm tripping. Do you think they can win the title? Do you think they're a championship contender this year? Or do you think that they're just another great team in the Eastern Conference that's going to get obliterated by the Bucks? Whatever you feel, let me know in the comment section below. I read every comment. Thanks for liking in advance. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Even if you didn't watch the whole video, even if you did, I appreciate it because you still supported me in, in a certain way. If you want merchandise, I have my Facebook page in the comment section in the description below. You can click the link and you can like on Facebook. Thanks for everybody that liked on Facebook and everybody that will. Um, I upload videos on Facebook too, so if that's what you prefer, I also upload videos on that on that page and check out my website analysisplayground.com it'll be in the description it'll be in the comment section below thanks for the love thanks for the support and at the end of the day if you enjoy this video check out my other videos i do videos just like this and breakdowns when i use actual footage to break down rookies and players and teams and subscribe if you love that type of content i make videos every single day so if you love basketball you love the entire nba i got you covered on that each and every day when it comes to the NBA. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Quinn Wade, basketball analysis. I'm gone.